Hi everyone and welcome to Boost on this rather fresh Monday morning. I hope you that you've had a, a great weekend and uh, I'm going to have a sip of my green tea right now. I find that first thing in the morning, green tea uh, really gets you going. I also enjoy drinking coffee, as you all know as well, but here we go. What do you drink first thing in the morning? You might want to leave that in the comments to let me know. Um, but today we're going to be looking at Ephesians chapter 2. We're going to read from verse 1 through to verse 10, and this is an incredible passage. If this doesn't boost you up for the day, then nothing will. You need to check your pulse, all right? So maybe grab your Bibles. If you want to listen, listen. Read them from the NLT version. But Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 to 10. And of course, this is what Boost is all about. It's reading passages from the Bible because we need God's Word to change the way we think and to lift our faith. So that's why we're reading the Bible today. That's, we don't read anything else on Boost. It's just the Bible. We don't read poems. You know, we read the Bible. We don't read other stories. We, we read the Bible because that's, that's what we need. So here we go. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 to 10. Once you were dead because of your disobedience and your many sins, you used to live in sin just like the rest of the world, obeying the devil, the commander of the powers of the unseen world. He's a spirit, that's the devil, at work in the hearts of those who refuse to obey God. All of us used to live that way, that's true, following the passionate desires and inclinations of our sinful nature. By our very nature, we were subject to God's anger, just like everyone else. But God is so rich in mercy, and he loved us so much that even though we were dead because of our sins, he gave us life when he raised Christ from the dead. It's only by grace that you've been saved. For he raised us from the dead, that's spiritual deadness, along with Christ, and seated us with him in the heavenly realms because we're united with with Christ Jesus. So God can point to us in all future ages as examples of the incredible wealth of his grace and kindness towards us, as shown in all he has done for us when we are united with Christ Jesus. This is good. You've got to be enjoying it just a little bit more. God saved you by his grace when you believed, and you can't take credit for this. It's a gift from God. Salvation is not a reward for the good things we've done, so none of us can boast about it. For we are God's masterpiece. I'm going to say it again. We're God's masterpiece. I'm going to say it again. We're God's masterpiece. He's created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. What a great Bible reading. That's it for today. Just a couple of points. I just want to hone in on the fact that we once were lost, but now we're found. And, you know, we didn't become Christians because uh, we did anything good. God didn't save, Jesus didn't save us from our sins because we deserved it. He saved us from our sins because of his mercy and his grace. So no matter where you've been, no matter where you've done, there's grace for you to wash all your sins away. And he saved us, and the Bible tells us that we've become his masterpiece. Wow, has anybody ever called you a masterpiece? Well, that's exactly what you are. You're God's work of art. Other people might uh, think not good thoughts about you. They might think you're not terrific or very good. But God calls you his child. He calls you his masterpiece. You're a work of art. So, you know, be encouraged by that today. Have a boost by that today. Hey, what if we even change the way we talk about ourselves? You know, instead of calling yourself useless or, you know, insignificant, um, why don't you look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm God's masterpiece. Well, that's all I've got for today. And I can't wait to be with you again on Wednesday. Tomorrow you've got Pastor Bethwin sharing tomorrow, continuing from a book of Ephesians. But may this be a blessing to you in Jesus' name. Let me pray. Father, I just pray for each person listening to this podcast today. I just pray they'll have a terrific day. I pray they'll have a terrific week. I pray, Lord, that you'll boost them up today, encourage them today. And, Lord, I pray your presence will will be with them strongly today. I pray the joy of the Lord will be their strength. So, Lord, thank you, Lord, for blessing us with your word today. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Hey, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Tune in for Pastor Bethwin tomorrow at 6 in the morning. God bless you. Bye-bye.